So how does the church, and this was the question, how does the church respond to all this? How do we live in the midst of this? And the best thing to really look at is Jesus in the gospel according to St. John. When he says, you are in the world, but not of it. In the world you will have, and he says this word tribulation. That's how it's translated in English, tribulation. And we hear the word tribulation, it's like, I don't know, I don't, okay, what does that mean? What does that look like? A better way to translate this word instead of tribulation is pressure. In the world you will have pressure. You will feel pressed on, put on burden. You will feel like like everything's just coming. Have you ever had that? Where it's like one thing after another, after another, after another, and that's what we have in the world. But Jesus then says, but take heart. I have overcome the world. In the death and resurrection of Jesus, in his blood, wounds, and death, we overcome the world. Does that mean we don't care then? Go, it doesn't matter what happens. Let COVID happen, faith over fear type thing. I'm going to keep living my life. Uh, does it matter who's elected president? I don't care what the policies are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. About, no, we as Christians have been freed from that defining us that we may be put back into it as little Christs in creation. We are now forgiven all of our sins, forgiven the first one to the last one, original and actual sins forgiven. Jesus has anticipated every mistake and made satisfaction on the cross for you. And now you and I are put back into creation to live as Christ for our neighbor. Jesus never came campaign for a, a um, political person. You know, he didn't have like a sign out in the front yard that said, Herod, you know, 32 or something like that. You know, that didn't happen. Um, you didn't see him freaking out. What he did was he healed people. He preached. He prayed. And that's what we do. We keep on preaching. Your pastor is going to keep on preaching the law and the gospel. Sin revealed, sin forgiven, that you may live forever, and that's preached to the world. We're going to keep on praying. We're going to keep praying the Lord's Prayer, praying the litany, praying the morning evening prayer, praying the Kyrie, singing our hymns. In the midst of this, we comfort and encourage one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, as it says in the, in the good book. And then we love our neighbor in the way they need to be loved, be it a baby who needs a diaper changed, a woman who's abused, who needs to get out and be loved, a child that's abandoned, and orphaned, a widow that's crying, someone that feels that pressure as well. So I guess the best way to answer this is, how do we live in this type of world? We receive the gifts that Jesus won on the cross for us, and then we empty ourselves out in love for our neighbor, whatever that may look like. So that's what we do. And that's what I encourage you all to do. And we keep praying for each other that that may be our life on this lovely pilgrimage path unto eternity. God bless you all. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.